It's so early, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today we are back with another House of the Dragon reaction. Today we are watching episode 4, which I believe is going to be the battle. And I'm not ready. I'm absolutely not ready. Well, I say the battle, one of the main battles that happens, but it's going to be an emotional one, I feel. Or if not, it's going to be just heartbreaking. So I just want to get into it, but before we do... If you didn't know, I am currently doing Angel and Buffy reactions over on my channel. And if you'd like to get early access to those and also the full and edited reactions, you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash George Alexander, where you can get both of those available to you. But if you don't want to do that, it's absolutely fine. Just give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And without further ado, let's go. And this is so Alice Rivers has really given him some crazy ass visions, isn't she? Stop. Damn. Demons going crazy, yeah. There's been a raven. Mario Grace. Slept well? Well, no. Sir Kristen's army. Now tripled in strength. Mm. Might have Harren Hall as his destination. What in the omen? <laughs> Lord Grover is looking more hale and healthy than I expected. Uh, this is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Mm. How fares your grandsire? Sadly, he remains incapacitated. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. <laughs> sure. That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. Damn. Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. Ooh, the dogs. God, why can't you just kill your family? It's not that difficult. Everyone else does it in this show. Mm. Bring me I'm so sorry. Oh. Do they look familiar? They do look familiar. Princess, if we're holding to formalities. You look familiar. <laughs> she sees it. I was not told his saviour was so comely. It's his son. I know who he is, Corliss. Mm -hmm. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honoured, not hidden beneath the tide. Where has that woman gone? I suspect to try and draw us all back from the abyss. Mm. Oh, she's so good. I'm so sad that like, we're, like I just love those two together, and I obviously love Ray. I think I genuinely think Rainy is my favorite character in the whole show. Oh, he's pretty gone and broke that now, haven't he? You silly girl. As requested. Bloody hell! I brewed it myself. Thank you. The morning after pill. I shall observe the girl closely. The girl being me. And you served my lord husband in his darkest hours. Do you believe Viserys wanted Egon to succeed him? <gasps> his grace never raised the matter with me. That's him being like, no. <laughs> Not really. But I'm intrigued that she's like second guessing herself now because obviously at the end, I mean, she knew at the end of the last episode, but I feel like in this one now she sort of is fully aware of what it, what's happened. You should have burned them when you had the chance. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. Ooh. <laughs> Baylor's so good. Does it speak falsely, my prince? This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Yes, you are. 
The Queen did not name you Hand. It is her voice and that of the King Consort that we need to raise alliances and command our vassals. But they are gone. What has come of this council? Yes. You want to shut the F up now? Well, you should have listened to Rhaenys, but anyway. on the march. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the Queen but to grouse and claw for power? We must trust that she seeks the same as each of us at this table. That's why you all bent the knee to her, yeah? You can earn back your honour by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of Dragonstone. He really is... Christopher Christian Cole, the epitome of toxic masculinity, isn't he? You're not fit for the white cloak. No. He never was. This is a better death than a traitor does. Because he's a pussy, pussy, pussy. Yours will come in kind. It will. I realize you were neither born nor bred anywhere near the crown lands, my good Lord Han. <laughs> But Harren Hall is to the west. We're not going. Indeed it is. We ain't going there. So Christum is marching on Rook's Rest. Rook's a pathetic prize. I gave no such command. The castle command. is small. Let me tell you right now, Rook's Rest is gonna be in the history books. This war will not be won with dragons alone, but with dragons flying behind armies of men. Cole is already preparing his attack. <clears throat> uh, how, how do you know this? He sent word to me. To you? To you? <laughs> oh, it's all so awkward. Without my authority. Well, you put Kristen in favour, babe, so... Sounds like a you problem. Well, the other people are like, what did he say? Shaggy time. In Villa Vasni in down in Samadoro, in Vrapda Odo, in Vrapa Dorio Vinovinome the Dela, Dovrio Bajet. Sorry, I'm just doing Daenerys's quote from the last episode. Well, right now, Brooks Rest is an easy target. Well, the worthy effort. Aegon just got told. Awkward draft. I thought I'd look in on you, Your Grace. Oof. To your absence from the small council. How pregnant was she? You must worry for him. Were you covered in his glory the other night? Sworn sword. On the march. Never exposed to dragons. It is a perilous road. He's just annoyed that you're not showing him feet, feet pics anymore. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive. And the realm was at peace. In fact, it's only been a few weeks. It's crazy. I did not know you shared your lord husband's love. For the history. <laughs> oh, is she looking for, um... Is she looking about the... Song of Ice and Fire. Do you think that is why he changed his mind? In the end. <sighs> would have Damn. told him how the realm would react to her succession. It's impossible to know what steered his thoughts in those final hours. I think we know what it was, darling. Do doubt his intentions? Yes, yeah, she does. Her nearest supporters will believe what they wish. And so will Egon's. The war will be fought. I mean, she's, she's got a point anyway. Like, it was, it was always going to happen. <gasps> he's like, why am I so much like Aemon? I wonder why he saw Aemon. What could Aemon possibly have to do with the rest of Daemon's story? Do you now plan to make your own claim? Perhaps to prove yourself that. Do not try me with your insolence, witch. You'll need your sleep if you're to win this place to your side. <laughs> Who are you? Sir William Blackwood of House Blackwood, Your Grace. Oh God, time's moved forward, hasn't it? Some twenty years ago, my lord bent the knee to King Viserys and acknowledged the Princess Rhaenyra as his rightful heir. Yeah. So you fight for this old oath. Not, of course, for your thousand-year-old feud with the Brackens. Well, that helps, obviously. Oh my god, we're getting all the visions. Our lords in the Crown Lands are grousing. I 
want one of these. And with Eamon and Vagar also at the ready, we are a formidable opponent. You bore me. I think he's going to go and do his own thing. What are you doing here? Where are your father's books? Damn, she's really... she's looking for everything. Okay, so here's the thing. So apparently, like, you're not supposed to be king. It was my hope that <laughs> once enthroned, you would honour the burden of your new duties. Be silent in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. <laughs> Tread carefully. Or what? What? You'll hang me as you did your rat catchers. Or have me banished as you did your hand. Oh, she's had enough. What would you have me do, Mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Nothing. Yeah. You just... the face. Did you forget the little encounter we had on the road to Rosby? I did not. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. What? Grown tired of living, have you? Fingers crossed. We need to send a dragon. Oh, is she here? Where? She's back after a little trip to King's Landing. I went to King's Landing. <clears throat> to what oh, possible Is she going to tell to everyone? Queen Alicent and sue for peace. Only one choice remains to me. Either I win my claim or die. It's but a small coastal keep. Mm. Lord Staunton oh. is a man. Good air. Emerging from the shadows. I will go. My queen. You... Cannot. I will not loose dragons to war whilst I hide here in my castle. Our allies raise their banners for you. You must send me, Your Grace. Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. Interesting. Because in the book... I will meet Cole. <sighs> oh, damn. In the book it reads more like she refuses to send Jace and then sends her instead. But I'm intrigued to see that she makes the decision in this one. But I think she's done that because she's kind of over the whole situation with Corliss as well. And But they all know what it means. And as for this one, he's just not going to sit on the sidelines, unfortunately. Which will be his downfall. For a time. There's something I need to tell you, Jess. <gasps> Is she going to tell him about the Song of Ice and Fire? Something. You're telling the... I'm, I, it has passed from king to heir since Egon the Conqueror's time. They are a protector. Oh, stop it. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. Mm. And what I will now tell you. What is it? Egon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice, Ice and Fire. Fire. Do you know what's really sad, in my opinion? But then I guess... Is that if Game of Thrones hadn't have ended the way it had and ended a different way, I feel like this would have been so amazing. I can see how we can understand how we got to the point, though, where... Eventually, the right people, let's just say, were not told this information. <laughs> oh my god, all I want is to hear her say Dracara's. I'm really excited to see the dragons fight because I think, like, oh my god, baby, I'm so sorry. Um, we haven't, other than the long game, we haven't really seen dragons fight. Oh my god. <laughs> He's pissed. I love that Vega was like, thank god, because I'm f like, he's she's like, girl, <laughs> I'm tired. This Great. Was your secret plot card. No. For the king himself to lay ambush and they have to Now he's fucking annoyed. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Eamon's like, bitch, he can do his own bidding, you know? Oh, girl, girl. Oh, oh my god. No, she scratches and takes a chunk. God, this is crazy to see. Uh, but sadly, it would have been an easy fight for her, if not for this one. Cole's like, thank God. The true power in the realm. Girl, you might go too, and you ain't got. God, no. Your grace! She's gonna go back. Angos Ailes. Showing her absolute strength. Oh my god, look at that! It's insane! Oh my god. gone the way they keep dragging this fucking thing out it's a joke like we know what's gonna happen like right now they take her neck the queen no matter what <sighs> Jesus Christ Now you see what a a fight with dragons is like. The king has fallen, we must find him. He's Ash, babe. So good. I will say I think that the one in series seven is a lot more powerful, like when the ash of the bodies just goes whoosh, But that was really cool. Amen! <clears throat> He's there. He's just really badly injured. While his dragon stays there and feeds off sheep. He's not dead, though. He's not dead. He's not dead. Unless they've killed him. Okay, guys, so that was episode four. Damn, that was such a great episode. I think it had everything that we love 
this universe for it had great talking scenes like really great long speech scenes it had fantastic action the music was phenomenal great acting all around and fantastic special effects and everything so this was really like a top tier episode for this series so far and i thoroughly enjoyed it of course we lost rainice which is heartbreaking absolutely love her and um, the queen that never was the queen that should have been um and yeah it's going to be intriguing to see how that death causes eruptions within um team black and then of course how with whatever's going on with aegon deal the how the greens deal with that um i'm intrigued to know whether they have killed him or not as i say all i'm talking about from the book is that in the book he's like really badly injured and kind of becomes like a bedridden while Aemond and Alicent kind of do the bidding um and so yeah I'm intrigued to see if that's going to be the case here or if they have just killed him off I don't know they probably just left it a bit like that similar it reminded me a bit of again season seven episode four the spoilers of war where they kind of left you know what happened with Jamie is a sort of like is he going to drown sort of thing so yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next few episodes held and yeah another a, a great episode and god there's just going to be more and more death guys okay guys thank you much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe all my social media will be in the description box below then yeah until next time see ya